To get a free printable PDF version of this pattern, click the link on the screen now, in the description below, or by going to clubcrochet.com slash top hat. Hey there, I'm Louie, and in this video, we're going to be making this little tiny top hat. So I made this a few weeks ago for this little snowman. Um, here's another one with a finger puppet version. The patterns for these guys are actually coming out next week, so if you want to be notified when I put these live, uh, click the subscription button down below, uh, and make sure to click that little bell to get notified when they go live. Um, you can also get them early by becoming a Club Crochet member, but we'll talk about that later. So I made this top hat for these little guys, and I thought it'd be a cool little quick pattern. Um, and instead of making it all black like this, because it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing, we're going to be actually making uh, the Mad Hatter version. Uh, so we can do some cool color changes in there, and we might make it a little bit longer too. All right, let's get hooking. So like I said before, we're going to be using uh, a couple different colors here instead of black. And these are both worsted weight yarn, but uh, you can use pretty much any kind of yarn you would like. This is worsted weight cotton, the other one is merino wool. Um, but it's just easier to see this color instead of black. Also, for the crochet hook, I'm using a size G, 4 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a darning needle. I like this little crimped darning needle. It makes it a little easier. And uh, a pair of scissors. All right. So to get started, uh, I would suggest using either the chain two method or the magic loop method. I like using the chain two, it's just a little bit easier to follow along with. So to start, we're gonna be chaining two in our main color. For round one, we'll single crochet six into the second chain from the hook, uh, or into the magic loop if you're doing the magic loop method. This is some pretty um, uh, generic, amigurumi work here. Usually when I make amigurumi it starts with this single crochet six into the second chain from the hook kind of thing. And I'm working kind of around the tail. Uh, it helps hide that hole a little bit better. Okay. All right. So for round two, we're going to be working an increase into each stitch all the way around. So we'll get into our first stitch right here. And an increase is just single crocheting two into each stitch. And I'm going to be working around this tail just to hide it in a little bit better. And by doing an increase into each stitch, you're going to be going up from six stitches around to 12 stitches around. And if you're following along on YouTube and you go into the descriptions, um, I put the time codes for each round down there, so you can skip to specific rounds if you'd like. Might make it a little bit uh, easier if you already know how to do an increase in each stitch and you don't really want to watch me go all the way around over and over again. Okay, so for round three, we're going to be doing something a little weird. Well, first off, let's pull this tail a little bit and we can cut it. We're going to be making kind of a sharp turn in. We want it to be like really, let me show you on the finished one, really like doink doink, you know, very uh, sharp edge. So how we do that is for round three, we'll be working in a single crochet into each stitch all the way around, but we're only going to be working into the front loops, meaning the loops closest to you right here. So, just a one single crochet into each front loop all the way around. There should be 12 stitches total. And you'll see when we get to the next round how we're going to make that really like boink down. That's, that's the best way for me to describe it. You boink it down. <laughs> I don't really know. I guess you make it like a 90 degree angle is is probably the, really the best way to say it. Okay, just a couple more. All right, just about at the end here. One more. Okay. 
So that's going to be round three. For round four, you can see how it's very, it's kind of doing that doink thing backwards. Uh, we actually don't want it to go out this way. We want it to turn inside out. So how we do that is for round four, we're going to be working a single crochet, not only in both loops from, from the next round, but also working into the back loops from the round before. See that? And this is going to make it really sharply point down. So you're working a single crochet into the both loops from the next round and the back loop from the previous round from round two. And you'll see how this really sharply pulls it in. It can be a little bit tough. Just take it one stitch at a time, really slow. Um, because it's pretty easy to miss a miss a back loop stitch oopsies when you're first going especially if you're trying to go really quick so just take your time oh see I spun my here and there okay And try not to let the stitches become too loose. As you can tell, I'm kind of trying to make them pretty tight stitches. But they still are going to be a little bit loose as I work around. And I don't really know what this process is called, the working into this back loop thing. should have a name. The doink. This is called the doink. All right. There we go. Just a few more here. I use this technique pretty often in my amigurumi when I want to make a really sharp uh, angle. And I don't want you to be able to see that I'm trying to do that. So, you know, sometimes you can just work into the back loops to make a very sharp angle, but it doesn't really have the same, the same look. That I really want. This one makes it a very clean, clean look. Oop, and there we go. Okay, so that'll be the end of round four. And you can see how it kind of points it in. I like to pull the bottom down a little bit too. So for round, for the next three rounds, well, this depends. This is where we're going to change it up a little bit. So if you're making just a regular black top hat, it's going to be three rounds of single crochets. But we're going to make our top hat just a little bit longer um, because it's the Mad Hatter's. He's got kind of a crazy hat on. So we're going to make it a little bit longer and do some color changes here. But if you're making just a black top hat for the snowman, uh, do three rounds of just single crochets. For our Mad Hatter, we're going to be doing two rounds of single crochets. And then we're going to do some some fun color change stuff. So two rounds of just single crochets with this, the same color. And while I'm doing this, um, I'd like to tell you about club crochet. So like I said earlier, you can get um, that snowman pattern a little earlier by becoming a club crochet member. Club crochet is this website I started where you get, uh, it's pretty much the first subscription service for crocheters. You get new patterns and projects every single month. Uh, uh, and kits mailed directly to your door and stuff like that. So basically how it works, here's one round. Basically how it works is um, you pay a fee, it's $5 a month, uh, and you get access to the Club Crochet Library, which is a full library of patterns and projects. Uh, this month there's going to be like a reindeer, a Santa hat, um, stuff like that and you get access to all the past months every pattern that's in the club crochet library you have access to you also get early access to the public library so the public library is um, patterns like this uh, next week I'm gonna be doing a snowman pattern so you'll get early access to that snowman pattern so that's club crochet you can learn more about it at clubcrochet.com okay so we're at the end of this round here now we want to do some color change work to make kind of a, a darker green band that goes around the hat. 
So we're gonna grab our darker green here. And we want that, that band to be really, really um, uh, distinct. So to do that, we want to do some weird color changes for the this round. So we're gonna put this color in there, put it in between the two loops like that, pinch it down with your index finger of your, um, your dominant hand. And what I do is I take my index finger of my non-dominant hand, and I place it in between the two, and I flip it under like that. And then I pull through with our new color. The thing is, we don't want this next round to be all this color. We only want the top loop to be this color and the bottom loop to be uh, the lighter green. And this is going to make it like a really distinct line. So how we do that is we flip it back under so that the lighter color is over the, the darker color. Go into the next stitch and we pull through with our lighter color. And then flip it back under and pull through with our darker color. And we're going to continue that for each stitch all the way around. We want to do a single crochet into each stitch. There should be 12 all the way around, flipping under, pulling through the first loop with green, and pulling through the two of the loops here with darker green. So let's do it again. Under, light green, dark green. Okay. Light green, dark green. And I know I make it look a lot easier than it than it probably is. Um, and it might take a, a little bit of work. It might take some time to get perfected. But this is going to really make a very, a very nice distinct line at the end of, at the end of our piece. So you're just doing this weird color chain single crochet all the way around, 12 times total. And as we go around, you can kind of see this yarn is making this little candy caney, like spinny thing. Uh, and that's not a big deal. We can probably make it to the end, but if you want, and this is getting very annoying, what you do is you grab the two ends and you just pick it up and it'll spin all the way out. It's a great way to get it untangled. But 12 stitches of that really isn't too bad. I've done it before where it's like like 64 stitches of just color changes and that's not very fun. You got to you got to untangle it pretty often then. Okay, so we're at the end of our round here. So for the next round, we want it to be all the darker green. So we just do a single crochet into each stitch, all in our darker green. And I'm working around this lighter green for the first stitch. And I'm going to cut it. And we're going to come back to it at the end of this round. But for this round, we just want to do this darker green. It's just single crochets all the way around. And see, you can kind of see how it's making a very distinct line of where the color changes is otherwise if you do it if you don't do that uh color change in the last round you know the darker green and then the lighter green it gets kind of confusing or it gets a little bit messy with the color changes it's not really the end of the world it's you can barely really tell but doing that little color change makes a very nice distinct line which can be pretty useful um when you want when you want just a line of of color okay so we're actually already at the end of our round here see we got a dark green band so at this last stitch here we're going to almost pull through all the way and you want to get our lighter green and we're going to change back to it so remember that's pinch down put it in between the loops and the um, yarn, pinch down with our dominant index finger, use our non-dominant index finger in between the two and flip it under, and we're just going to pull through with our new slash old lighter green. Okay, so for our last round here, 
we want to make a brim. And our brim is pretty simple. Where's the hat? Here it is. The brim is pretty simple. It's just basically working only in the back loops. I mean the front loops of the next round. That'll make it go really out like that. Uh, so how you do that is you're only going to be working in these front loops, like how we did from round three, only in these front loops here. And you want to do a single crochet in the first, work around that little tail end for the first one. We can cut it. So we do a single crochet in the first one and then an increase in the next. And again, we're only working in that front loop. One. And two. Okay. And you're going to repeat that six times total. A single crochet. And then an increase. And that's going to bring you up from 12 stitches to 18 stitches and get you a really clean brim. And now I'm going to have to make a, a whole um, <laughs> uh, Mad Hatter. Might as well now that I have his hat. <clears throat> or else he's going to come looking for it. And we have one little addition that we want to put to this before we finish it up. Okay, so I'm nearly done here. Just a, one more repeat of a single crochet and then an increase. So to finish up this pattern we want a single crochet into the next stitch right here. Just one single crochet into the next round and then make a slip stitch in the next stitch. Okay. You want to cut the yarn You can leave a somewhat long end like that, or you can make a really long end if you're going to sew it onto the head of something. You want to hide the end here. So how we hide the end is we go into the back of the next stitch right here. And then straight into the center of our stitch right there. And then I just kind of like wiggle it all the way down do we get to the base, so like right around there? Okay. And pull it through. Don't pull it too tight, but that should make a pretty clean end so you can't really tell where it begins and ends. You can cut this, unless you're going to use it to sew onto something. And for our final touch for this top hat, I made this little tiny. Ten and six. There you go. And then I'm going to just pinch up the ends a little bit to hold it in. Place it there. Well, I guess you can't really see the 10 and 6 unless it's... Well, whatever. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like down below. Uh, subscribe and click the notifications if you're not already subscribed, please. Uh, and you'll be getting this pattern uh, in the next coming weeks, or uh, you can get it now if you're a Club Crochet member at clubcrochet.com. Um, thanks again for watching. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Pasta la pizza. Bye.